In this video, I will show you how to simulate gateway cloning with a single fragment in SnapGene. Unlike restriction and insertion cloning, gateway cloning does not require the use of restriction enzymes to insert DNA into a plasmid. The cloning is achieved through a two-step recombination process. The first is the BP reaction, which creates an entry clone containing the DNA insert of interest that is flanked by two AT-L sites. The second is the LR reaction, which creates an expression clone containing the DNA insert of interest flanked by two AT-B sites. For further details around the concept of gateway cloning, check out the SnapGene website. Let's now dive into SnapGene and simulate an example. Specifically, I have the coding sequence for the human programmed cell death protein 1 gene open. The coding sequence, as indicated by the purple arrow feature, is my insert of interest. The aim of this simulation is to fuse this coding sequence with a GFP gene in a destination vector. To perform the first gateway cloning step, the BP reaction, go to Actions, Gateway Cloning, and BP Cloning. In the first tab, we need to specify our insert sequence that we will attach the at B flanking regions to. Since I will be performing a C terminal fusion with the GFP gene in the final destination vector, I will need to select all of my gene without the stop codon. To do this, I will switch to the sequence view, click on the first codon, and shift click on the codon just before the stop codon. Next, I'll go to the donor vector tab. You can select a custom donor vector from a new file or select a standard donor vector from the list. I will choose pdonor221 for this example. Final step before you are ready to simulate the reaction is to choose the PCR primers for attaching at B sites to the insert, in this case, the PD1 gene. You can choose your own primers by using the dialog options at the bottom of the at B insert tab. Or, you can let SnapGene design the primers for you. I prefer the latter option, so I'll switch to the Entry Clone tab and select Choose at B Primers. In the new window, you can change the desired melting temperature, but I will leave this as the default 60 degrees and click Choose Primers. Switching to the at B Insert tab will now show the at B region with the newly designed primers in red. As shown in the dialog box in the bottom right, we are now ready to clone. So I'll name this new file PD-1 Entry Clone and click the clone button. Switching to the history view will show a schematic of the steps performed. The next step in this gateway cloning simulation is to transfer the insert from the entry clone to the destination vector. And this is known as an LR reaction. To do this, I will go to Actions, Gateway Cloning, LR Cloning, One Fragment. The entry clone we recently created is already selected as the entry clone file. You can also use the drop down menu to select a different entry clone. In the next tab, Destination Vector, I need to select the desired destination vector to transfer the PD1 insert into. For this example, I will select this PCDNA 6.2 vector. By switching to the Expression Clone tab, you can preview the final result. The PD1 gene insert is shown in red. And the schematic at the bottom shows that the at L sites from the entry clone will be swapped with the at R sites on the destination vector to create at B sites in the expression clone. Finally, I will rename the file PD-1 expression clone and click clone. And that's it. We have successfully simulated gateway cloning in SnapGene. It's also worth noting that the BP and LR simulations can be performed in a single step as opposed to a two-step process I just shown you. To do this, with the insert of interest file open, go to Actions, Gateway Cloning, and then select BP plus LR Cloning one fragment. Then, as before, simply highlight the region of interest within the at B insert tab. Select a donor vector from within the donor vector tab. Specify a desired destination vector from within the destination vector tab. And finally, select to choose at B PCR primers from within the expression clone tab. So this wraps up this gateway cloning tutorial. 
In this tutorial, you have learned how to simulate gateway cloning to clone a single fragment in SnapGene. For more information about simulating other cloning techniques in SnapGene, check out the other tutorials on the SnapGene website. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.